Hi Year 4 and welcome back to Lesson 2 in Week 2. The first thing I would like you to do is have a look at the picture on the screen. What do you think we're going to be learning about today? Talk to your partner. What are these two pictures of? That's right, the pictures are of a telephone and a mobile phone. Who is this man? Talk to your partner. His name is Alexander Graham Bell. He was a famous scientist, inventor and engineer who invented the first practical telephone. When and where was Bell born? Alexander Bell was born in March 1847 in Edinburgh, Scotland. Who was part of his family? He had two brothers, Melville James Bell and Edward Charles Bell. Bell's father was a phonetician, which is a scientist who studies speech sounds and how they are made and transmitted. His, his mother, Eliza Grace Bell, was an accomplished pianist. Bell was homeschooled by his mother, who tried to give him a sense of curiosity about the world around him. His nickname was Alec. Bell was very curious about the world around him. At age 12, Bell built his first invention to solve the problem of dehusking. He created a device with rotating paddles and nail brushes that made it much easier and quicker to separate the grain from the husk. Because his device was used for several years as a thank you, the mill owner allowed Bell to use his small workshop in the mill to create more inventions. While working with his father, Bell became very interested in speech and how we make sounds. Talk to your partner. How do you think we make sounds? He and his brother invented an automaton, a mechanical man. At the age of 19, Bell conducted some experiments with tuning forks to explore how sounds are transmitted. Bell's mother was deaf. Bell's father worked with deaf people and developed a system known as visible speech to show how different speech sounds are made. At that time, visible speech was thought of as an excellent way to help deaf people learn and develop their speech. Bell's help demonstrated how visible speech could be used and helped his father teach it to deaf people. In 1871, Bell travelled to Boston in America to train teachers at the School for Deaf. In 1872, he opened his own school for the deaf. His first class had around 30 pupils, including Helen Keller, who became the first deaf and blind person to earn a university degree. In the early 1870s, Bell was living and teaching in Boston, America. He spent years trying to develop a device to transmit the human voice over electrical wires. In 1874, he began working with Thomas Watson, and a skilled electrician. Together, they continued experimenting and developing a way to transmit speech. On the 10th of March 1876, Alexander and Thomas were working in separate rooms. Bell made the first ever telephone call, saying, Mr Watson, come here, I want to see you. The first ever telephone. Following his success, Bell began to demonstrate his telephone in a series of public shows. The Bell Telephone Company was set up in 1877 and by 1886 over 150,000 people in the USA owned their own telephones. Controversy. Alexander Graham Bell was not the only person working on the telephone during the 1870s. Several scientists claimed that they had actually invented the first telephone and not Bell. Alicia Gray felt that Alexander Graham Bell had stolen his ideas and used them to get his telephone working. This had to be investigated by patent officers. Bell's claim to, the, to be the first inventor of the telephone was eventually approved in March 1876. Over 18 years, the Bell Telephone Company faced over 550 patent challenges. None were successful, and Alexander Graham Bell still is regarded as the inventor of the first successful telephone. As the telephone became more and more popular, Bell became more and more famous. He received many awards, medals and honours for his invention. There are many museums and parks named after him, and Bell's house in America is preserved as a historic site. As Bell's wealth grew, he used some of his money to set up laboratories and funds to help other scientists and young people. He set up a centre for study and research into deafness, which is still active today in Washington. Bell found and became president of many societies such as the National Ge Geographic Society. The measures of sound, the bell and the decibel, are named after him. Bell died in 1922, age 75. After his funeral, every telephone on the continent of North America was silenced as a mark of respect for him. For your first task today, I would like to see if you can draw a timeline with pictures and a caption of the evolution of the telephone. 
Your challenge at the end is to, to design what you think the telephone might look like in 2030. Task 2. Can you create your own telephone invention idea with pictures and some information on how it will work? Try and use some persuasive language to sell your item. You can present your work in any form such as a poster or even a PowerPoint and video. Remember, you can put your work on Tapestry or on our Facebook page. Good luck and have fun!